Boom, viewers, subscribers. Back again with these quick updates because trust. If it's not for and from King Mix Up, it's not credible and you don't know the thing said people. Updates, 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 updates. And we're gonna update you again, Panagal name Jada Kingdom. You see, fans is feeling that they was robbed by Jada Kingdom. Yes. The fans them feel like Jada Kingdom robbed them. And they're not too pleased, you know. And I'm going to let you know if she robbed them or not. Yes, because you know we have to speak the facts, them wrong, yes. But that's how the fans is feeling. They feel like Jada Kingdom robbed them of their money because she did not perform in New Jersey. On the 25th of April. Yeah, that was like two days ago. You feel me? And and she took to her IG story to tell you fans, not me, come here, I'm not fan of she. But she's telling you fans, stop telling her she needs help, you know? She's going to do what the F she want to do. And next time y'all step to her and say she need help, she's going to block. You know? You see me, I said. And all to, the, to all the K-Mob John Crows in my comment section, remember said Jada Kingdom, as you see right here, left a comment in my comment section saying, oh my God, thank you. Please delete the first videos because all of those were inaccurate information. You are the first vlogger to finally, finally have some sense. Ja. And she's talking about this video. Lisa Hyper unleash alkaline baby mother to expose Jada Kingdom for clout to promote her new thing. You see what I'm saying? And this is what I don't like with the industry. These people are looking for yes men around them, you know. The same type of opinions I put into this video is the same type of opinions I have around here. And you know, everything is allegedly on allegations and based off of the things that Ono say and do. Is it me? I said, yeah, she said, I'm the best vlogger, so I'm going to go in. Also, speaking about Jada Kingdom, since we're up on the east side, side, it looked like the rumors were true, people. Skilly Bang was getting love from the fake east side queen, Jada Kingdom. But Skilly Bang mother not in a Jada Kingdom because of certain reasons I will explain in a this review. And that is how he end up um, with Pretty Rebel. Yes, people. Rebel is fucking Skilly Bang. She made a joke about it the other day, but it went over your heads. But you know my links, them, my industry insiders, them, the normal, you see me? And we don't know how much of this DM can ex reveal. But yes, I saw the thing said, we're going to focus upon these two in this video. So, um, you know, let us start with the most important one. Her not being able to perform and why fans feel like they was robbed. You see, people... Jada was supposed to perform April 25th in New Jersey. And she didn't show up because of stipulations in her contract. You see, when you are an artist and a promoter books you, y'all go into contract negotiation with each other, you know. Like, for example, Jada would be like, you know, I need a hotel room, first class tickets, X amount of dollars per diem. Um, etc., etc., you know. Now, I reached out to the people that hosted this event and I didn't get a word back from them. Maybe later on I will. But, um, they put out a statement explaining why Jada Kingdom, um, didn't show up. You feel what I'm saying? So, like I said, people, um, she didn't show up due to stipulations in the contract, but. Some of the fans are looking at it like, yo, this bitch is a, it's a fraud, you know. She took our money, etc., etc., etc. But like I said, people, she didn't rob these people money. Um, she didn't rob the money. So until we know what the stipulation is, the fans are going to feel like Jada Kingdom robbed their money, you know. Like the fans are not going to want to hear, okay. She was supposed to be picked up at the airport at 8.30 and the people came at 9.30. You know what? Contract canceled. You can cancel a contract just like that, just for some simple things. But let me read the statement from the people them and then on the can get full no, um, overstandings of what go on, you know? So you don't know the thing set when you're a promoter and you got to take a loss, you know? You still got to address 
the patrons, you feel what I'm saying? Because I know them problem, you never have your thing sad thought, you know? But anyway, the people them said they apologized for the inconvenience caused at the seduction event that was held on April 25th. We initially had the outdoor venue, but due to conditions beyond our control, the event was moved. For that reason, we were no longer able to meet all the conditions that were stipulated for Jada Kingdom to perform. As a result, we will be doing an appreciation party and will release the date as soon as possible. Admissions will be free. So basically, basically... When the promoter says admission will be free, he took a L. Basically, Jada Kingdom say, fuck you. Uh, you didn't meet your end of the bargain. Uh, whatever deposit money you gave me or if you paid in full is, is now mine. You feel what I'm saying? And you just got to eat that loss and tell the fans them why you wasn't able to um, satisfy the contract. Like I said, like what I read, um, the person said that... It was an outdoor venue and it changed. So it it looked like they got an indoor venue. And I don't know. You know what I mean? When I'm going to put it in the comment section. What did I get from the statement? We just read, you know. I'm putting out the comment section. If it was a simple venue change. And the people them still had transportation for Jada Kingdom to go to an indoor event. Um, do you think she should have still, uh, you know. Forward and perform for the people them who want to see her. But anyway, enough about that. Before we get on to the love triangle thing, people, let us read what Jada Kingdom said. Like I said, me I'm not fan of Jada Kingdom. As I know, we don't really talk about Tara Aronia Sony when she really trending for this and up Shensi and all these things. But a lot of you people care about Jada Kingdom and her well being, and a lot of you people are in the health field, etc., etc. And you see her crying out for help, you know. But she wants to tell Una this. What a person wants to do with their life is their own business. I don't want anyone re reporting shit to me. Next time, I'm going to disrespect the messenger. I promise. Yes, if you was one of those messengers putting out a comment section, what do you feel about that? Because one thing me know, this is a core dance. This is a core dance, young tug I have everybody I do, and me know as a herbalist, me nah support no core business. Me nah, me nah sniff my nose and, and put that up on my platform and make people think say it's cool for sipping lean and all of these bomba clad things. But anyway, people, let us proceed. Like I said, people, the streets is buzzing. And you know the streets are talk. You see me, I said. And I'm saying Skilly Bang is the man. Feel what I'm saying? And he and Dancing Rebel is in a relationship together. On the low, low, though. You feel me? And them, this is Skilly Ben. They dig out Jada Kingdom all, but... Skilly Mother not like Jada Kingdom for reasons that I'm going to disclose. Um, so, before I start reading the DM, like I said, Rebel did a smash and pass the other day. And she said something about Skilly Ben, but it went over in here. So, let's take a look. Smash Yes, people, Dancing Rebel and them did a smash and pass. You know, they always do smash and pass, but in other one day, you hear Rebels ask them, Skilly Bang, and you hear all of them say pass, because them know herself. Them say smash, Rebel will have dig out them eyeball, you feel what I'm saying? And you hear them ask Rebel smash or pass, and Rebel say, smash. <laughs> okay, people. At this point on uh, now, I'm going to read the DMs from my industry insider. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, my source said, you asked me for some things. And they said, I have info on Dancing Rebel. And I'm going to say blank, blank for right now. You feel what I'm saying? I have a bombshell on blank. And also, Rebel and Skilly Bang. I heard it with my own ears from blank, blank, and many more. 
I know so much about these people, but let me start with Jada. Jada was diagnosed with mental issues. I think we all know that. She is bipolar and she has anxiety. And I heard it's because of, you know, the drama she um, went through in her, her past, you know. And the amount of men she's been taking since she was nine. People, these are all allegedly an allegations. It's a massive. Jada ran away and been on the street for years and was in a gang of girls selling sex. One of them was Alkaline's baby mother. Yes, we see in the picture with Momzel and Jada and them as young girls in 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 attire. But again, people, these are allegations. It's a massive. Yeah, not every female is a hoe, you know. But yeah, the whole of them sticking at the end. <laughs> But nah, like Malibu and Magia. But anyway, people, every man Jada go around, she sleep with them. The artist who are made there would tell me she can she can't keep her legs close for nothing. All you have to do is give her, you know, a little sugar and she a fuck. Is it massive? Our herbs and all of these things. Check the disclaimer in the description box. Yeah, cause she's bipolar and we don't know what kind of medication. People I give her, she I get prescribed from doctor, you know. The manager used to fuck Jada. Eh? Even never know the white boy used to fuck Jada. At done, she moved in with the man at Atlanta. The problem started. Okay, okay. So she was sleeping with the manager. And then, oh, so she was sleeping with the white boy. And when she moved at Atlanta, with our boyfriend, the problem start because you know Jada said every time the people in the industry want sex, Sarah, fun, use and abuse and all these things. Okay, okay, okay. So the person said, you know, Skilly Mother, as she make Jada change her name from East Side Queen. Oh, she was on my live the other day shading the woman. That's why she and Skilly in the link no more. Because the lady said, as she are the real East Side Queen. I used to follow her on my real page. I make me tell you, she not trouble people, she rich. She feed people. All you have to do is inbox her and beg her. And she free handed. Okay, okay. But she's still weird though. But anyway, the person says Skilly Bag Mother need to come off the internet. She did her time. I remember when she did have the place at and millions of followers. Millions of followers, I think, you know. I guess those were MySpace days and all these things and things and things. So, yeah, this person says she's too sexy for the internet. It will ruin Skilly's career. <laughs> Boy, the mother look like she won't fuck Skilly, but I'm not going to lie to you. Did you know, says Skilly? Okay, we can't answer this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dance out thing, mix it back. Okay, back to the Jada thing. I think that's why Jada affects, because Jada and, um... Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, people. This is a live um synthetic me I read, you know. Okay. Eh why you lying? People, them said Jada Kingdom did come to him about some story says she pregnant, but her money she did a look and him no look at her. Him say if you're there wrong, Jada, you will see her behavior no normal she talk to people like them and nobody one minute she nice next minute she cuss jada need help and she vex cause she want to be like shensia yes 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 and her man is bisexual too she can stay there she should have checked him before she opened her legs her atlanta her atlanta full of aids and bisexual men so it's all true. So was was watching Skilly Ben girlfriend live the other day and she threw shade at Rebel. Okay, I read that one. I read that one. I read that one. And she says okay. okay, okay, so we're back to the um the dancing rebel smashing thing. So was watching Skilly Ben girlfriend live the other day too and she threw shade at Rebel. <coughs> Excuse me. She said, Is she is he yeah? Uh, is he sir him fuck you? He said, him I fuck you, but him love me. Skilly and Rebel been dating on the low. That is a big bombshell you should drop, cause 
not a lot of people know, only people in rebel circle. Me I say rebel I'm not over skilly. What you want to know next, cause I know it all. You remember Rebel Smash and past video that she did the other day. And she smashed Skilly, but people thinking I drove him. Yeah, big up yourself, me industry inside the people. This is super exclusive, and I got more bombs to drop, so please hit the like button, man. If you want another bomb to drop today, man, we need to get a thousand likes on this video. Fast, quick and fast. The faster me see a thousand likes, me drop some super, super more exclusive that not even depend on blood class, social media, depend on no other sites. You see me, I say, and it makes me know you appreciate my content and, you know, my time I take out for these things. So, yeah, again, hit the like button, subscribe, press the notification bell, hit all car so you get the latest and dance, all news, musical reviews, and gossip.